Good morning, everyone. I'd like to call to order this work session of the Monroe County Board of Commissioners. It's Wednesday, August the 17th. And I'm going to add one item, please. Uh, do I need a motion to add an item to the agenda for the work session, Mr. Cockrell? Hmm? Do I need to, a motion to add anything or since it's a work session? We'd... I think it's a work session. So I think okay. uh, as long as there's no opposition, I think we can go ahead and okay. put it on. Um, I wanted to let uh, Ms. Nestor Jones know that we're gonna go ahead and take Mr. Uh, Cockrell's item first because I think it'll be pretty quick. So, Mr. Cockrell? Yeah, yes, I had prepared and I think, I, I, and I know I'd sent you both, the, or all three of you, a copy of the agreements for a uh, phase two environmental study and a wetlands and jurisdictional water delineation report. Uh, these are two different agreements from uh, Vet Environmental. They are the phase two is, and I think both of them really are a continuation of the phase one reports that we had done for the uh, Fulton Pike project. I think when we went into it, we anticipated a phase two simply because of the, the, the amount of dirt that was moved on that site for I-69. So this is just kind of a continuation of that process. For the public, we, we won't do a phase two agreement until the phase one is complete. This one has been uh, because we wanna make sure that second agreement is reflective of what the next step of work needs to be done and, and it's all inclusive. So we, we really don't have a price or what the scope of the phase two is until that phase one comes in. Um, so these two agreements total $23,621.15. Um, part of the wetlands and jurisdictional water uh, delineation report will look at uh, making sure there aren't any un, unknown karst features on the site and do that kind of exploratory work. I, I'm asking that you prove this today because one, you don't have a meeting next week and two, uh, our vendors are ready to start the work next week. So we wanna, we wanna keep this going. Um, again, we have a September plan commission, city plan commission meeting uh, for this site and, and all this information is really important to make sure our requests appropriate and, and that they have the information they need when they look at our, our request. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and make a motion uh, that we approve the agreements with Vet Environmental for Phase Two Environmental Study and Wetlands and Jurisdictional Waters Delineation Report for the property at the corner of I-69 and Fullerton Pike in fund names and fund numbers to be determined in an amount of $23,621.15. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Jones didn't have her mic turned on. So, okay. <laughs> um, so uh, you've given us a bit of detail already. Are there questions from my colleagues? No, I'm familiar with this kind of work at this point. <laughs> we are pretty familiar. <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> um, I think, I think for me, so just to be clear, this is really a not to exceed amount, right? Because there may not need to be some of these these studies may not need to be conducted. Is that true? I, I don't think that this, I think I would anticipate that this would come in at those costs. The phase one report indicated that where, where these studies and where this work should be done. So I think this is a pretty solid number. I, I, it won't exceed it, of course, okay. but I, I don't think there'll be any discounts. Okay, because that, that's, that was my other, the other end of my question. So you've already addressed it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, is there anyone who wants any other input on this? So I don't see anyone with their hand raised and we don't have any public here in the NetU Hill room at the moment. So um, Mr. Cocker, would you like to call the roll on this? Commissioner Thomas. Yes. Commissioner Githens. Yes. Commissioner Jones. Yes. Motion is approved three to zero. Thank you very much. And now we'll go on to Ms. Nestor. Jellen, please, in the planning department. Good morning. Good morning, commissioners. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Um, so just wanted to bring to you at the work session first, two text amendments. Um, I'll go through the first one with you briefly. And then if you have any questions, you can let me know. Um, this is ordinance 2022-27. This is an amendment to chapter 801 definitions. 
And this may look familiar. We brought this to you a few months ago, but uh, we made a few uh, changes to this to make it even more improved so that it matches what Chapter 815 is stating in terms of certification and plot plans. So um, the changes are, I, from the last time you've reviewed this, we added a plot plan, plot plan certified, and then we, so we separated out plot plan and plot plan certified, and we separated out site plan and certified site plan. Um, and then we also just made it very clear um, about where to go to find those certification requirements to go to chapter 815. So we're hoping that this is fairly straightforward, that people will look at this definition, be able to understand the terminology, and then go into chapter 815 where they'll find even more information. So do you have any questions about this first text amendment? Commissioner Thomas, Mr. Jones. No questions. No, not really. I, I know that there have been problems because of these terms and uh, hopefully this will straighten everything out. So this is just making it consistent across the two different chapters, correct? Correct, yes. Yes. So. <clears throat> yeah. Thank okay. you, that seems pretty straightforward. Okay, so and, I will go on. I'm oh, sorry, ahead. if I might just, um, it's useful to hear the plan commission vote on this. Um, yes. So this um, did go to the plan commission. Um, let me just go ahead and go to the certification page here. It was at the August 2nd, 2022 meeting, and it was a, uh, voted with a favorable recommendation of seven to zero on this one. So Thank you. Well within the 90 days as well. Yeah. Okay. So the second text amendment that we have today is for Chapter 815, and that's Ordinance 2022 28. And this is just a little bit of cleanup or technical fixing to the Chapter 815 that we've noticed while using this chapter in practice. So we had the word uh, scaled in front of plot plan in chapter 815 and we realized that with the definition changes that we'd like, we, we didn't want to say scaled plot plan, we just wanted to say plot plan or certified plot plan. So we're making that fix. And then there was also a requirement that we had originally put in based on lot size. So if the lot was less than two and a half acres, it was saying that there was a survey needed when we spoke with some professionals and those in the uh, surveying business, they said that it kind of caused a little bit of confusion because there's actually parcels that are larger, but if the improvements or the development is happening close to a lot line, they may actually need a, a certified boundary um, in that instance, whereas if a lot's two acres and the development is in the middle of the property, they can rely on the deed description of the lot boundary. So they said that if you were able to just put lot boundaries and that the if the plot plan is required to be certified, they would not want to put their stamp on it if they were unsure that the development wouldn't meet setbacks or other criteria. So they would recommend a survey in those instances and we would take out the requirement based on lot size alone. Um, so that was a, a good fix. And then the last change was to remove architect. Um, it was brought to our attention that architects are not able to certify lot boundaries. And so by leaving it to engineers and surveyors that often are paired in the same um, company, we believe that will be a, a better end result because typically the information that we're acquiring is either needs to be certified by an engineer, such as finished floor elevation or uh, base flood elevation for, for floodplain development, or um, you know, lot boundaries need to be sur surveyed. So those those two professionals we left in, but we took out architect. I can take any questions that you have on this one, and I will look at the vote from the plan commission as well. This one was uh, June twenty first, twenty twenty two, and it was a vote of eight to one on the plan commission. Thank you. Uh, do either of my colleagues have comments or questions? Yeah, I, I just want to um, thank uh, Jackie and the planning staff for reaching out to uh, get even better information to make this a stronger um, chapter. So thank you for that. 
Thank you. I, I completely agree with that. It's, it's good that you have that kind of working relationship with the professionals in the community. Um, so when would we like to see these come back to us? And I, we know that we're not meeting next week. So do you want to see it on August 31st? Works for me. That, that would work for me as well. Okay, that sounds good then. So we will see you back with us on August 31st. That sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Thank, Thank you. you. With that, we'll conclude our work session. Thank you, everyone.